Listen without prejudice as we uncover the roots of English singer-songwriter George Michael. Yorgos Kiliakos Paniotto was born on the 25th of June 1963 in East Finchley. He rose to fame in the early 80s as a member of the duo Wham! and later embarked on a solo career. Michael has sold over 115 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Manuela and I took a trip to see the mural of the Wham! artist in Kingsbury and this is where he lived as a young boy. This was painted in September 2020 by artist Dawn Miller. But the real story of George Michael starts from just round the corner where we live, which is right here in Bushy. It was the start of a new year at Bushy Meads Comprehensive School. There was a new kid joining class 2A1 with a name no one could pronounce. Andrew Ridley was a bright but disruptive student and was often bored with the educational system. He befriended this new boy and took it upon himself to show him around the school. They both shared the same taste in music and instantly became friends. Unable to pronounce his name, Andrew called the new boy Yo. After months of rehearsing in band members' mums and dads' front living rooms, the band, the executives, played their first live performance. With a 17-year-old Yog and Andrew right here at the Bushy and Oxy Scouts hut. Not longer after that performance, the band split up and they all went their separate ways. Little did they know. And who would have believed, after a few years into the future, the two boys would end up playing Wembley Stadium. The Free Crowns pub played a small but significant role to the story of Wham. Andrew met an old school friend, Shirley Holliman, here, and they started dating. Andrew, Yogg and Shirley would go out dancing on the weekends and they would practice their dance routines in various nightclubs. But it was here Andrew knew a guy called Mark Dean, who had some success in the record industry with a band called Salt Cell. After a lot of badgering from Andrew, he agreed to listen to a demo tape Yog and Andrew had made and as a punt decided to sign them up to his new label, Innervision. The debut single, Wham Rat, was released. The label on the vinyl credited the songwriters as G. Panios and A. Ridgely. Yogos Panielto didn't exactly sound like a superstar name and so George Michael was born. But Wham Rap failed to chart and barely made the top 100 and climbed only to 91, even after positive reviews and public appearances in various nightclubs. The same happened with the second single, Young Guns. It managed to climb to 72 in the charts and then peaked at number 48. Record Company and Mark Dean were starting to feel jittery and failure was staring them in the face. And in those days, it was common for record companies to drop acts after a few singles failed to chart. Fate intervened following a late withdrawal of a band from Top of the Pops and Wham were invited to perform as the highest climbers outside the top 40. 30,000 copies were sold the next day as the record climbed the charts and eventually reached number 3. Wham eventually became a household name and achieved 4 number 1 singles. They were one of the most commercially successful pop acts of the 80s, selling more than 30 million records worldwide from 1982 to 1986. So this is the first album by Wham! released in 1983. And on the back, you will notice a silhouette of two young men dancing. And this is a dedication to the exceptionally talented guitarist Andrew Lever of the executives who passed away at a very young age from cancer and a friend called Paul Atkins who lost his life on his way home after a football match in a car accident. Paul Atkins was my cousin and I was very young when this happened so I don't really remember much about him but I believe he was a good friend of the band. George Michael bought this Grade 2 property for £7 million in 2002. Join a roster of celebrity residents past and present including Sting and Annie Lennox. So we've made it to Goring. 
quaint English little village in the yes. middle of nowhere. So pretty. Look at all the veg around and plants and flowers. Zucchini flowers. Where? There. There. Look there. Oh yeah. Zucchini flowers. So brilliant. I would like living run here. Got a bit lost, didn't I? Yeah, a little bit. You know, just he went. Uh, he had to turn, but he didn't. So we went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Now, I read this story here in Goring that someone put a, a letter in George Michael's letterbox. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. So, and it yeah. said along the lines of, you're not the only gay in the village. My husband yeah. would be very pleased if you popped into our pub. Yeah. And I'm trying to work out which pub it was. Oh. Uh, I well, think it was the Miller. Is he closed? Yeah. Your memories of George Michael might be about what you've probably seen in the newspapers and all the shenanigans of him falling out of cars and the drugs and the public toilet incident in LA. But what the media failed to mention was his generosity and what a wonderful person he was. He gave so much to charity and I feel as though that he was the kind of person that would drop everything just to help someone out. George Michael's back garden. So that building right behind us, that's Mill Cottage, and that's George Michael's other property here in Oxford. This is where George Michael used to live. There. 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 <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Outstanding around here. Shall we buy so it? So peaceful. Oh, yeah, it's only yes, three and a half million. <laughs> Only if I win the lottery, but I don't, because I don't play yet. Yes, yeah, so I read in the paper that a fan bought that house. Well, it must have been a very rich fan, isn't it? Three it and a half been. millions. Imagine that. No, some poor people like us, isn't he? Yeah. Are you sure it was a, a, a fan? That's what I remember uh, reading. It. I read on, I think it was online. It was in the papers. Oh, wow. Well done, you know. I bet it's beautiful inside. Can you imagine? Yeah. Click this video right here for a brief history on Freddie Mercury.